What's up, people? I, I, for real, I just wanted to do this video for the longest because it got on my mother, motherfucking nerve, nerves. And uh, I'm post, I'm post a status on my Facebook, and the status, the status I wrote was making it points blank, just putting it out there. I posted, I hate when people post pictures of themselves on vacation on Facebook and Twitter. I don't want to know where the fuck you been. It ain't my business. I don't mind if you tell me if you're going out of town. I mean, call me up, message me, hit me up on a messenger saying, oh, I'm going to go out of town. Cool, fine, whatever. But not post it up on Facebook. Well, I'm going to read you the rest of it. It's like, Tell me if you're going out of town for the holidays, that's it. But po to post pics on where the fuck you been is not my damn business. Or anyone else's. And some people wonder why people are all up in their business. It says your business, but uh, I meant to say their business. Because people keep posting their business, business on Facebook and Twitter. I don't mind if you and your friends take pictures of something silly but damn come on shit stop putting your business out in the street and I was being honest about it I was telling the truth I didn't mention nobody's name I didn't tell nobody's information I didn't I didn't say nobody's information tell them nothing and I get two people, like, I, one of my friends, I don't mind because she said this. She said, Joe, that was slightly a bit harsh. I know I was a little bit wrong, but I got tired of people putting their business out in the street. I don't even know your shit. If you, if you want to tell me something, tell me in motherfucking private. That's all you do. That's all I'm saying. If you got something to tell me, don't post it. If you got something to say and you want to tell me, hit me up on Messenger. If you want to show me pictures that you went on a trip, hit me up on on Messenger, Skype, Facebook, no, email on Skype, Facebook, Uvu, whatever. But don't sit up there and post your shit so the world can see, cause it's bullshit. Now, I'ma tell you, I'ma, I'ma, I am i am i am i am gonna tell you this story what happened to a couple. Then I'ma show you the, 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 the uh, message. No, the status I wrote. There was a uh, company, uh, there was a couple, I mean couple, not company, there was a couple that lives up in Hendersonville. They lived in the suburbs. Uh, this couple, this married couple, was going to go to a party on the other side of town by like a 30 minute drive or something like that. So the wife goes on her Facebook knowing that she has her neighbors and friends and family on her Facebook. So she posted, she posted on her Facebook, going to a party, going to a party at 8 o'clock. This is a true story. Look it up. I'm not bullshitting you. People in that, people that lives in Tennessee, they know this story. It happened a few years back. But what happened was to this couple was, when they left to go to this party, then it's away. Their neighbors, when they got out the, the garage, out the driveway, and they left, their neighbors broke into their house and stole some shit and ransacked the place. Stole and ransacked the place after the married couple left. So when they was ransacking and stealing all this shit, and hours goes by, hours goes by, they having fun at this party. So they was coming back and all this and that, and they came back and found their house fucked up. Laptop, TV, computer, whatever, was, all the good shit was stolen. First of all, you know it's good shit. Hey, when you got a computer and a laptop and a big screen TV, that's good shit. And they came back and they called the police. And the police sat there and investigated. And, the, and when the police investigated, they found out their neighbors 
broke into their house. Their neighbors broke into their house. And they find and what happened was they told them how was it no, he had, they asked the criminals, how did they how did you why would you break into your neighbor's shit or whatever? Well the police found out a lot. They found out the uh they found out that the wife posted going to a party on Facebook and they told her never post shit they they said never post stuff like that up on Facebook because you don't know who's gonna break into your house. It can be a neighbor, it can be a friend, it can be a relative. Never post going somewhere on your Facebook. Never. You probably heard me say, Well, you said oh you could tell me tell you no. I said message me on on MSN, Yahoo, Skype, Uvu privately, not openly, privately. Now I'm gonna show you what the fuck I say, cause this is because I never thought I would have stupid ass, not stupid. I never thought that my friends would have ignorant, damn, ignorant, uh, in, in just low intelligence. Just, I show you. I said, look, I hate when people, look, this is what I'm saying. I hate when people post their vacation off of Facebook, Twitter. It ain't saying nothing about nobody's name. I didn't put nobody's information out. I didn't tell people where they lived. Nothing. Has nothing. It don't say one thing about anybody's. I didn't even bring nothing up. Nothing up in this, in this status. But I'm going to show you how stupid certain people is to move down. I gotta fix this. It's a, no, but, uh, cause it's, it, cause the, the comments are silly as shit. Now, this is Megan. Chaos is her name. Her nick, her computer name, her internet name. And she talks about the, oh, what the fuck is Facebook and Twitter for? And then it's, is to post what the fuck you are up to. No, but you tell, no. When you say what you're up to, that means you tell people. You can say, "Oh, work was long. Oh, I had a hard day at work. Oh, my feet hurt. Oh, my back hurt." She like it. Yeah. You don't post. Oh, I'm finna go take a shit and wipe my ass. Oh, I'm finna jump in the shower to wash my ass. Oh, I'm finna go in the bathroom. I'm finna go to fuck my whoever and fuck whoever and fuck it. No, it's not for that kind of shit. It's to post what you thinking. It's to post, oh, you had a hard day as at work or shit like that. But never post your personal business out like that because you telling the world everything that goes on in your life. This is, this is not a fucking reality show. This is your fucking life. So when you post your personal business out there and posting pictures of your your personal business out there, you're giving the world access to your fucking personal life. You might not, don't, I want y'all, look, if you do that, don't run up to me and say, don't run up to the person and say, why are you in my business? Never run up and tell some, if you're posting your personal business out there on Facebook and Twitter, never sit there and tell them, why you in my business? Motherfucker, you post your business out there in the street. That's how it is. I talking about she talks about unfriend the person, uh pitch want pictures to want to see pictures off. I told you it's not per look, she said, I told you not don't take it do not take it personal if uh, don't respond. I never said nothing about responding or talking. I never did, she said. I've been working hard many hours. How do you think I can afford a trip that I'm posting about my real friends want to know what the fuck I was up to? Damn, grow the fuck up. She tells me grow the fuck up. Your friends want to know what you've been up to. Pick up the fucking phone and call them and tell them what you've been up to. Don't show them what you've been up to. Tell them. Because they don't need to be in your fucking personal life. 
and then she say, oh, and talk to me, your post shit on the open like this, it's not cool, probably, I never said her name, never mentioned anything, now tell her back, I say, look, I don't mind you working, cool, fine, I don't mind you working, cool, fine, I'm just saying, he said, I'm saying it's not like, not, it's no one's business to know where you're going, or if you take pictures of yourself on vacation, share that between you and the people you went on vacation with. Not with the whole world, not with the world, so shit, I ain't bitching about you talking to me. Shit, I know you work hard to go on vacation, but it ain't my damn business. It ain't my business, just saying it ain't my damn business to know where the fuck she's going. Be harsh. I need to put a. I need to put a stop. Stop putting. People need. It says people need to put a stop to the, their putting out their business out there on Jump Street. If you don't mind putting your information out there, putting your business out there, then fine. Don't say nothing with people use it against you. I bet not here. Why you in my business? That's how it is. I'm just telling like T.I. is. All I'm saying is never post your motherfucking business out there on Jump Street. Because it's nobody's fucking business. I'm tired of motherfuckers thinking they are smart asses. And they think, so, why are you training in Facebook for? Facebook is, Facebook is to associate and keep up with your friends. It's not, to per, it's not to post your personal life out there on Jump Street. It's not my motherfucking business. It's not their motherfucking business. Because it gets on my motherfucking nerve when people post their information out there on Jump Street. It makes me fucking sick. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, man. When you post your personal information out there on the fucking internet, you giving people access. You giving people access to your personal life. You giving people access to your personal life. People know that you're fucking whoever they can use it against you. You might be sitting at. They that's like oh they know who you're fucking, who you're sleeping with, how many fucking. Motherfuckers you slept in the last few weeks, last few days, last few hours, whatever. You're letting people in, into your personal business. You may say, oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Never post your personal business out there. That's all I'm saying. If you're going on vacation with your friends and family, those pictures are, those pictures that you take on vacation should be shared in privately privately between your friends that went on a vacation with you or the, your friends that live around the neighborhood yeah and your family down the, this lives nearby but not with the fucking whole damn country not with the whole fucking country that's unnecessary like I said you could purge your silly shit up I don't mind I really don't give a fuck if you post some silly shit up. I got a buddy that does it, and I love it. I love it when my buddy posts up silly ass shit. When he posts up of a goat smoking a cigarette, I think that's funny as hell. That's all that is. But posting your personal information is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It really bothers the hell out of me when people do that shit. It really does. Don't like I said before. Don't sit up and say, "When is you? When is Facebook and Twitter for? When is Facebook and Twitter for? Not to post your fucking business. Not to post your fucking business. When I heard about Twitter, I was against the shit very against the shit <coughs> I was very against the shit I didn't want to have a Twitter page then I ended up getting a Twitter page but I did not use it like everybody did I started posting shit like fuck Kim Kardashian fuck the Kardashians fuck this person fuck that person how can a gay person hate black people how can people be friends with a pedophile's all this shit, I use Twitter for that. 
I use Facebook like that, man. I don't post that all. I'm finna go shit, jack off, and go to bed. I do not sit there up there and post that shit on Facebook or Twitter because it's nobody's business. It really ain't. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of people sitting up there thinking it's okay to do this shit. It is. It is. I'm tired of it. You can say, oh, won't you remove them if you don't like it so damn much. I don't want to lose no more friends. I want to keep my friends around. I don't know about your dumb asses. The ones who ever say, oh, why don't you just remove it? You kiss my ass. I ain't removing nobody's friends. None of my friends. I'm just telling all my friends, because I know they probably half of them probably going to watch this video, to stop posting their fucking business, their personal business, their lives, their fucking life on fucking Twitter and Facebook. I've seen porn stars, look, I've seen po porn stars <laughs> post, post, oh, we making, uh, I just got done doing the sex tape. They post, they actually sitting up there promoting their movies or what they're going to be in. They're promoting themselves. That's a professional thing to promote yourself. That's how it is. When I see when and some of my friends on here, I I I dig what half of them I dig what the half of them do. Like they post pictures of the kids, like oh they're so sweet, they got cute babies. Oh they so, they got cute babies. When they post pictures of their babies and shit, I'm cool with it. I'm all good with it. Or they dressed up in some set. If I'm my, I got female friends, they dress up some sexy. I'm like damn baby, you looking good as shit. Or you took took a picture of yourself. Cool, I don't mind. But don't post up stupid, don't post up your personal life on Facebook. That's all I'm saying. The internet is not for you, your business. The internet is not a poster. It's not a, what's them damn thing? Uh, not to post it up on a wall and say, look at my shit. Look, look who I fucked last week. Look who I fucked this week. Look who I fucked last, uh, three weeks ago. Look who I fucked seven weeks ago. It's not for people to know what you're doing in life. It's the more it's more like keeping in contact with certain people on Facebook. You just keeping track. Catching up, talking to your friends in a private message. Face Twitter is basically about bullshitting. Promoting certain things you're doing in your life. Promote uh, promote your YouTube videos. Promote your music. Promote your design, uh, your fashion show, or whatever, but not to post, not to post your fucking business. If you hate what I got to say, you can kiss my ass right now. But it is what it is. All I'm saying is never, per never post your information or your personal or your personal life on Facebook or Twitter, because you're giving everybody the opportunity to fuck your shit up. <laughs> never sit there and say, "Oh, I'm finna go jogging." It's at 12 at mid, uh, midnight or oh, I'm finna go jogging at 2 a.m. because you post that and one of these people one of these people you, you hardly even know might be a damn rapist <clears throat> or one of your friends might be a rapist one of your relatives might be a rapist just don't know never post your shit up there I'm just tired of fuckers thinking you know, it's all good to do it don't tell me I need to grow up. No, it's the simple fact is how come I'm smart enough not to post my fucking information or what the fuck I'm doing on Facebook and Twitter. But mother, other motherfuckers are dumb enough to do it. Dumb enough to do it. That's all I'm saying. Don't be an ass and post your shit on a, your fucking business up on Facebook or Twitter. If you don't want people in your life, in your personal business, then shut the fuck up. Stop posting your shit up on Facebook and Twitter and just leave it alone. You either play games on Facebook or or play games on Facebook, talk to your friends, or just delete the profile and get the fuck off. Same with Twitter. It's nobody's business. Well, it's nobody's business. That's how it is. Well, everybody, this is Afro Joe. I hope you follow me on 
this is Afro Joe. Just holler at me. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe. Uh, Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. And uh, if you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass. And don't say nothing. Don't leave a fucked up comment. If you do like a, like what I got to say, leave a comment or a video response. Just holler at me. Peace.